was getting a little burnt out of my corporate job. Um, I worked at a big corporate company and I just didn't see myself like growing with them and I was getting a little burnt out. Um, so that gave me that extra push to do something on my own. Um, and I've always just enjoyed eating juice smoothies and toast. That's <laughs> what I would always get. Um, when I would go to new cities, I would try to find a new juice bar or a health cafe or something along those lines. That's truly how I enjoy eating and living a healthy lifestyle. Um, so once I kind of committed to that, um, my boyfriend and partner is in construction and he really helped me connect the dots and found um, you know, an architect that could help. And he actually left his job to build out our first store, um, which is super exciting. Um, so yeah, once we kind of committed to that, we just hit the ground running and we haven't looked back just growing more and more each day right now we have four corporate stores um and our first franchise opened in may this past year um and this year we started franchising and we've sold 37 which is kind of crazy we just like and make very healthy options for everyone my favorite thing on the menu is the avocado smash. It's our most popular item across the board and it's like a classic, but um, it is just so good. <laughs> People have told us that it's the best avocado toast they've ever had. And I also truly believe that. She has a business owner and an entrepreneur. It's just standing your ground. And if you're a hundred percent passionate about it, believe in, in whatever that you will be successful and you will break the bias by doing that. You know, if you believe in something pretty much, but not a hundred percent, I think that pressure that kind of comes along with it and people in your ear and things like that will, um, they'll kind of take you down. So if you really believe in something, believe in your product or your service, whatever you're doing, um, you can really break through trying to open the first location. I was 23. I didn't have any business experience. I was fresh out of college, like two years out of college. I've worked in restaurants front of house. Um, and I just didn't have enough credential, really. I didn't have any credibility behind me and really trying to sell my idea and sell myself and try to sell to someone how much of a hard worker I am. But, you know, there's no proof of that. That was definitely the biggest challenge, just being a young woman trying to start a business in DC. And luckily, um, I say luck, but it was also with a lot of hard work and persuasion um, that the developers of our first location took a chance and they're like, all right, we don't want any big chains in here. Um, we want something cool and unique and one off. And so they took a chance on the brand and on me and it was very, uh, just very nerve wracking too, but very satisfying. Like, okay, they're trusting us. So now I really just have to give it my all and make them proud. And of course we did. And it's been amazing since then.